Have you ever used Skype, Messenger, or FaceTime when communicating with someone? Long before this app, there was a video phone. Guess what? It was invented by a Filipino in the 1950s. He is Gregorio Y. Zara, a Filipino engineer and physicist born on March 8, 1902 in Lipa, Batangas. He graduated as valedictorian in both elementary and high school. He enrolled in the University of the Philippines, but he haven't finished his first semester because he got a scholarship from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology where he obtained a degree of Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering in 1926 and his Master of Science in Engineering, Aeronautical Engineering graduating summa cum laude at the University of Michigan. Then, he decided to study further taking up advanced studies in physics at the University of Paris where he again graduated summa cum laude with a degree of Doctor of Science in Physics with Tres Honorable. It is considered as the highest distinction. It is the same award given to Mary Curie when she discovered the radio. When he came back to the Philippines, he served the government where he shared his expertise and he also became an educator at Far Eastern Air Transport Incorporated. While he was busy in his government career, he spent most of his time creating equipments. Most of them are for aeronautics. He is considered as one of the most productive Filipino inventors with 30 patents under his name. He also writes articles and textbooks about science and physics. In 1930s, he discovered the physical law of electrical kinetic resistance. It is known as Zara effect. One of Zara's most famous invention is the photophone signal separator network, commonly known as Videophone, where it enabled callers to see each other on screen while having a conversation just like how telecommunications application works today. Just to be fair, it is not 100% Zara's idea. As early as 1930s, experts and AT&T officials from the United States already had one and two-way Videophone concept and demonstrated it to the public, but it wasn't a hit because most of the citizens find it impractical. On a fateful day of October 15, 1978, Zara died of heart attack. He was deeply honored by the government and accorded him a state funeral. Former President Ferdinand Marcus confirmed the Order of National Scientists for his contribution to the society and to the whole world.